What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar, and today I wanted to talk about the black sheep of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct, which is basically what it was. I mean, it was a Nintendo Direct, but it was basically just a Smash Direct, considering how much it took up. We're gonna be talking about Waluigi, and more importantly, why I think Waluigi still has a chance to be a fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and why us Waluigi fans, we need to hold our amiibo and we to not give up hope. So first things first, I want to talk about how Sakurai really does enjoy trolling us as fans. I mean, he loves putting out the work, but he also does enjoy teasing us, leading us on, trolling us, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I think we can see that in the Ridley reveal for uh, Smash Ultimate. Um, so the big reason that Ridley hasn't been in a Smash game before is that it's sort of been parroted over and over again that he's too big for Smash and uh, by that it didn't mean that they couldn't scale him down because a lot of people get that confused. It meant that when you scaled him down, he ended up looking off. So like you can scale Olimar up because Olimar is really supposed to be that big. Um, but when you scale him up, his proportions still work out compared to a normal person or a normal character like Mario or Link or something. He still looks good. But when you scale Ridley down, it just looked a little weird. Um, obviously they circumvented this by going with more of a, a an NES Metroid Ridley design. Um, he does still look a little awkward in my opinion, but he works out for Smash very well. And uh, I'm glad that he's in it, honestly. Um, I doubt it, so I'm glad that he's in it. But that big reason that, you know, the whole he's too big sort of became a meme online. And I think that Sakurai took notice because when Ridley was revealed, they used very intentional uh, wording, and it was Ridley hits the big time. Um, and I don't think that them saying big was uh, a coincidence. I think that by using that, they're referencing all of the fans who said uh, Ridley couldn't be in, he's too big, or people who were just making fun of that reason because they didn't believe it, uh, or they didn't think it was a good enough reason. So uh, obviously they used that reasoning um, and sort of threw it back at us and said, well, look, you, we said he was too big. You said he was too big. You didn't like that. So we added him to the game and uh, just add, to add insult to injury in this good moment, I guess. I don't know if there's an insult to injury. Um, the cherry on top, I guess, is, uh, is that we're going to say he hit the big time. And so that play on words was very, very intentional and kind of just shows um, that Sakurai and the team are paying attention um, and they just kind of like to troll us a little bit. Um, we still got what we wanted in the end, but they, not without them getting a little uh, a little joke in there. But moving on to where we saw Waluigi in the Smash Ultimate uh, portion of the Direct, um, we saw him when they first were explaining a new command, uh, a new mechanic for assist trophies. And that mechanic is that, of course, uh, if player one pulls out an assist trophy, in this case it was Waluigi, and player two, who in this case is Marth, um, attacks that assist trophy and ends up KOing the assist trophy off the side. Um, that will count as a point toward player two who knocked them out, uh, or it'll count as like a minus stock for uh, player one in the event that they are playing in stock mode. Um, and I think that knowing that Sakurai likes to troll us, I think that this footage was also very particular. They could have used any assist trophy that came from Smash 4. Um, it could have been Jeff. It could have been... Um, uh, who, who are the, the, the two that swoop across like that, that are basically Latios and Latios? Uh, they could have been them. Um, it could have been Lin. It could have been really any assist trophy that is KOable. But it was very, very particular that they used Waluigi. And I think that by using Waluigi in that and showing that he got KO'd, um, I think it's kind of setting us up into a false sense of security. So I think it's kind of setting it up, setting it up to be like, Oh, all right, they showed Waluigi as an assist trophy, so therefore he can't be a fighter because he's an assist trophy. Um, so I think it's kind of setting us up for when they do reveal Waluigi, it's going to be a, that much bigger of a surprise that he was a fighter because they already showed him in a scenario where assist trophies were being talked about. So that's the first thing that I think is going to be a big part in Waluigi's reveal is that Sakurai likes to troll us and he's setting up another troll by showing us that Waluigi was in the assist trophy portion of the game. Um, I also think that maybe there might have been a little hint as far as Waluigi being KO'd, um, because who do you KO primarily in Smash? And that is of course the fighters. So I think that maybe there might have been kind of a suggestion there that 
Waluigi got KO'd. Is he going to be a fighter? I don't know. Uh, obviously, you can KO assist trophies, but the large majority of KOs that you're getting in the game are, of course, uh, on the other fighters. So I think maybe using Waluigi there had a second meaning. Um, not only setting us up to, you know, sort of surprise us, but also setting us up um, as, you know, not, it's just setting up a scene that sort of painted a picture for later on when they finally do reveal Waluigi. Another big thing is that Sakurai does seem to like to use Waluigi sort of as his punching bag. Um, we sort of course saw in the direct Waluigi was the one who was getting KO'd. Um, but if we also look back at Smash 4 um, on 3DS and Wii U, back when the Miiverse posts were, um, were still leading up to the game, so th that was basically, for those who don't know, the, um, the version of blog posts that we have now, uh, they took place on Miiverse every day, uh, Monday, Monday to Friday, he would post uh, something uh, leading up to the game, and one of the days, he revealed Waluigi as an assist trophy, not as a fighter, and in that, he said, um, no matter how hard you work, your success is not guaranteed, or something to that effect. Basically saying, Waluigi, everyone wants him in the game, doesn't necessarily mean he's going, he is in the game, and of course, in that post, they revealed him as the assist trophy. Um, so I think that, for some reason, Sakurai really enjoys um, memeing on Waluigi um, because, you know, shows him getting KO'd, shows him uh, uh, as an assist trophy saying, nah, 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 you're not an assist trophy, ba or you're not a fighter, basically, that's basically the tone that he had just uh, conveyed through a blog post. Um, so for whatever reason, I think Wa uh, Waluigi has this sort of um, punching bag uh, role for Sakurai. Uh, and of course, if they're gonna reveal him, He's got to get one more jab in there uh, as a punching bag, which of course was that uh, that assist trophy segment during the Nintendo Direct. But that's just another thing that I noticed because uh, it's starting to look like a trend. So even if he is revealed, I think it's going to be uh, in a way where Waluigi still ends up looking uh, a little worse for the wear. And another thing is that we never actually saw Waluigi in any gameplay for Smash Ultimate, if I remember right. Um, I watched all of the Invitational, and I don't think he showed up once. I watched uh, a lot of the Treehouse footage, and I watched extra gameplay from, you know, different creators that had the access to recording the game. Um, and I don't think I saw Waluigi at all, so you guys could correct me on this. Um, but I don't think I saw him, and that's what kind of makes it a little, uh, a little more suspicious to me, is that, um, we had a lot of, uh, assist trophies that came from the last game there that came from also from Brawl, then Smash 4, and now it's Smash Ultimate. You know, we had uh, Jeff was in Brawl, Smash 4, and now Ultimate. Uh, same with Nintendo Dogs. Uh, we saw the Pong game. I forget what the real name is, but Pong from Smash 4 is also in Smash Ultimate. Um, they showed Lynn, although I don't know that she was also in the E3 build, so this may totally take away my point. But we saw a lot of the ones that came from past games, and if they're going to show them off in the E3 uh, Direct, it would make sense that they show them off also in, you know, the gameplay. And if they don't, it's kind of telling that the assist trophy might not be in the game. I'm not entirely sure, but um, Waluigi definitely seems like one where he was be easily taken from the previous game and put into the next game. Um, and, and, you know, it kind of saves them some work in the E3 build because they don't need to add necessarily a new assist trophy uh, or they can flesh out what is available in the build simply because um, they can just take old ones and put them in. So the fact that we didn't see Waluigi does seem a little suspicious to me. Like I said, this is probably the weakest point because he uh, he could have been there and I just couldn't see. I mean, I'm only one person. I can't look at every single uh, video out there uh, because I'm guaranteed to miss something. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, the, him not being there was a little bit suspicious. And to me, it just seems so weird that Waluigi isn't in the game because we have almost no representation for the party style games for Mario. So, you know, there's Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Mario Kart, all those kinds of games, Mario Hoops, uh, which is a personal favorite of mine. Um, but we don't really have any representation for those outside of like Peach's forward smash. Like two of the items she can pull are the tennis racket and the, uh, and the golf club. Uh, and I guess now Daisy will also have those because she's an Echo Fighter, but we really don't have any representation for those games. Um, and while every other main series uh, Mario character, I guess aside from Daisy now, um, has had a place in a main series Mario game, 
Um, lately, Daisy, of course, was in Mario Land, but she hasn't been in anything really. Uh, she kind of has the same role as Waluigi, actually, which is kind of just like as a playable character to flesh out the roster in the Mario Tennis type games. Um, so I think that Waluigi could really fit um, in Smash while also referencing all those games that he has a part in. Um, but that's just me talking about Waluigi. Uh, obviously, you guys have your opinion on Waluigi being in the game. Um, so yeah, that's what I uh, that's what I think of why he's not in the game. I don't know why I even talked about this, but uh, that's it, in case you were curious. And to those who are sending Sakurai hate on Twitter because he hasn't included Waluigi, which we don't even know he hasn't included yet because we just maybe we don't know the reveal yet. Um, but you should stop. I mean, just just stop and like think about what you're doing. You're harassing somebody who has put years of his life. Like I wouldn't even be surprised if like it was literally the number of hours he worked. He, he's he has worked adds up into the years uh, on the Smash series on across all of the games. Um, he, he you know he just lives Smash when he's developing it. And um, I think for for us as a community to even have those kind of people representing us, uh, just because we didn't get a character we wanted in a video game, and you're sending him hate and uh, and like kind of bullying tweets online, I think that's really messed up. Um, so you should probably stop that and like reevaluate your whole life choices if a video game is that important to you that you would go and like send hate at somebody. Uh, just just stop it, I, it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me just stop it but that guys is going to do it for this video I just thought about you know how a little suspicious the whole thing felt about Waluigi being in the direct how they worked Ridley's joke into the reveal so I'm thinking maybe they're setting Waluigi up to be that kind of a uh, of a, a reveal kind of a joke as well um, but uh, I'd love to know what you guys think of uh, of my thoughts. Do you want Waluigi in Smash? I know a lot of you do, so uh, I'd love to know why you think Waluigi should be in Smash. And if you don't think Waluigi should be in Smash, uh, don't com. No, I'm just kidding. I was don't. <laughs> I was gonna say don't comment. Um, but I would love to know why you don't think Waluigi should be in Smash. Um, if there's any particular reason, uh, I, I I'm very curious because I've only ever seen good things to say about Waluigi. But that guy's is going to do it. For this video thank you for watching if you enjoyed be sure to hit that like button and if you're new be sure to subscribe and hit that bell and uh, i will see you guys in the next video thank you all so much and have an awesome day